name is Divya Madan. I manage testing and test automation projects in the Quality Engineering Division of Aspire Systems. Industry experts say 80% of test automation projects do not provide value for money to companies because the tests are not designed to reflect the needs of the software system against which they are run. Automation testing is a process of developing software to test software. Hence, it is no less than a software development process which requires a lot of methodologies and standardized approaches in order to develop an effective solution. Over the past few years, design patterns in automation testing have been under the process of continuous improvement and evolvement. This evolution of design patterns has led to a great level of standardization in automation testing. The most challenging part in test automation has always been the code maintenance. A lot of test automation projects have drowned or were scrapped due to the inability of the frameworks to cope up with the growing code bases. In order to keep the maintenance cost low, the automation engineers should strive to minimize the code that they reinvent or create from scratch. They can do this by using existing functionality for common, generic or repeated operations that is by implementing design patterns as automation best practices. Design patterns show how to design the test automation testware so that it will be efficient and easy to maintain. The design patterns can be implemented by adopting the most apt framework design and choosing the right model of implementation, for example, page objects, page factory, etc. The various automation approaches that you could choose here could be data-driven, keyword-driven, hybrid, and latest being behavior-driven. Which one you choose can depend on product need, skill availability, and organizational readiness, etc. Let's consider an example. If you have data-heavy test cases and you are facing automation-related challenges, then the most apt automation framework for you could be the data-driven approach. In data-driven approach, the test input and the expected output results are stored in a data file and a single driver script executes all the test cases with multiple sets of data. This helps in building highly configurable framework that maximizes test coverage. Another example could be of behavior-driven test approach, also called BDT, which focuses on the behavior rather than the technical implementation of the software. Here, tests are written in the form of simple English language. These tests allow business analysts and management people to actively participate in test creation and review process. You can implement this approach by using BDD tools like Cucumber, JBehave, Specflow, Behat, etc. Implementing design patterns in the test automation framework offers a number of advantages in terms of reducing the maintenance effort, time, and cost while enhancing the code reusability, reliability, and scalability in the framework. All these factors directly help in getting the best returns over investment for automation testing.